nervous before a fight or because um because you're kind of a, a journeyman and you know you you really know your job see that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a great question that because never got nervous i mean my my coach wrapping my hands was more nervous you know than i was i had to calm him down and like what, what's going on rich like what's oh, i just nervous like, oh mate chill it's all good it's all good um but my last four fights having said that the nerves have come back the nerves have come back and and i do feel nervous but nerves is a great thing in any sport because you need nerves. If you're not, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I'm not nervous, and they are just to try and act bigger and better, but I prefer getting nervous. Nerves is a good thing because you know what you're about to do. You, you, you know you've got to pull your finger out and, and, and put, do some good work, basically. You got any favourite fights that, that you've had? Um, or any memorable ones? Yeah, I've got a lot of memorable ones, a lot of tough ones, which I try, I, I, they're always going to be in my head, um, and I'm always going to be remembered for, about, for them, but I, but I try not to, but you just can't, um, which, you know, some of them are some of my defeats where I've got stopped, you know, I've, I've not been stopped many times at all, but I have been stopped, and, you know, I'm aware of those mistakes, and, it's about moving forward and learning from them, but yeah, tip like uh, there's a guy who's blotty, great body shot on me. I was a match with shirt, Bethlehem Green, uh, basically first round come out, and I thought, I've got this, easy. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he's just lined up a beautiful shot to Apex, and I've just crumbled. It didn't hurt, I just couldn't breathe. So that was a great one to remember from, but then there's also been some great ones where I, you know, I think it was my 10th fight, 11th fight, I knocked down... Uh, it was Mike Robinson. Mike Robinson. Yeah. I knocked him out with a clean, clean headshot, right hook, remember that, my, my, my two knuckles were hurting for quite some time after. You know, that, that was a nice feeling. Funny that, I, I, I turned around to my dad that day and said, why don't I do this in all my fights, it's a lot easier. <laughs> it was the third round, you know, stage going through the rounds. It's, I thought, oh, I'm going to do this all the time. It's a lot easier, but never quite works that way. Uh, <laughs> and that was a fight you were you were there as a journeyman. You weren't expected to win. No, I was there as a journeyman. I'm not expected to win. Basically, that um, he was. I'm not too sure for definite, but he was. I think in prize fighter. Big things, basically. Yeah. They were saying about this guy. Um, and I was a bit nervous, um, so the nerves was paid its part in that one. Um, and then I boxed him, and yeah, just yeah, just he come rushing in, and I just took him down basically, took him out. You boxed in some um, decent venues as well, haven't you? Like the O2, Copper Box. You boxed, yeah. Boxed in Dublin as well. You got any yeah, favourite venues that you you've been to? Um, yeah, I do like O O two just because it's O two. Who who wouldn't? Fought on like Tyson Fury's undercard there. That was that was great. So my missus unfortunately didn't come and watch that one, but she had it on record at home. So she, she well not record. She watched it at home and recorded it so I could watch it back. Um, so being on a great build like that, and then after you know getting to watch you know people of the likes of Tyson Fury, Eubank Junior box was was great, and it was great to you know share the same ring as them on the same night. So yeah. That's a, that's one of my favourite venues. Um, Bethlehem Green is also a good one. Just, I mean, it's a bit dark, dull, and dingy in there, but it's one of those ones where it's just where boxing is about. It's where it's been. And you box there loads of times. I've boxed it so many times now. Yeah, it's like a, literally that's just like a home to me now. I'll go there and it's just like, yeah, it is what it is. Um, uh, Copper Box was a lovely arena. That was a really nice Copper Box. Um, that's where they had the Olympics and all that. That was that was nice. Yeah, I've boxed. I've boxed so many places. It's so hard to sort of say where I have and haven't boxed really. But yeah, yeah. they're they're probably my three three, three favourite places I boxed. How long do you see yourself, you know, staying in the boxing boxing game? Because you're what 23 now. I'm 23. Yeah, 23. Uh, as long as my body lets me, really. As long as, as long as I'm enjoying it, shall I say? Actually, 
as long as I'm enjoying the sport and I'm not getting hurt and, and my body allows me to continue with it, I'll, I'll go I'll go till I'm 40 if I could. You know, I'll go as long as I can. I love it that much. Keeps me in good shape. Keeps me, you know, off the street, should I say. Um, yeah, so as long as I possibly can. Yeah. And do you think you'll ever... Your fortunes will ever find a turn. You, you know, you grab a win and then maybe get another few wins, and all of a sudden there might be some titles arrive. Or do you think uh, you are you, stuck as a as a journeyman? You never know. You never know. I mean, I believe I'm a classy journeyman. You know, like I said, I go there to win. A lot of journeymen just go there to just do what they've got to do. So, and there's not a lot of journeyman boxers like myself, should I say? I don't believe there is. Um, so, so you really never know. I could, you know, potentially could win a title or, or get offered for a title fight because I've won a few in a chart. You really don't know. It's one of those things. The more you train, the more you focus on what you want to achieve in life is what you're going to do. But it is it always a more of a chance of, of accomplishing something like that. So I would like to think I could. But well, like I said, you, you you never know. You never know. You mentioned the training. What's what's the training like? Is it the same as you know any other boxer? Because you have trained with you know like Kelly Morgan and Ryan. And I've trained with yeah a lot of people, um, different places. But yeah, training's training's good. But the thing with someone like me on the road as a German, I find you don't need as much sparring as any other like, prospect because. I'm fighting week in, week week out sometimes, you know. Sometimes if I'm not fit fighting week in, week out, I'm fighting at least once a month, at least. So that's my sparring there. I find my fighting is my sparring. Um, so it's just about staying in shape, really. Staying in shape, so, you know, staying in shape, you know, keeping fit. But also, you know, pad, bag work, you know, your technical stuff like that is very important to keep keep on top of. But yeah, training, so sparring and stuff like that doesn't really impact me out a great deal as it would on many other boxers, shall I say. What do you enjoy most, cutting hair or boxing? See, that's a tough question. <laughs> yeah, you've got me there. Uh, boxing, I, 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 I'd say boxing because it's my passion, it's my love, that's, that's, that's my dream. If I could make it to do anything in life would be the best box in the world. Unfortunately, I've taken different routes, chosen to be a German. It's not going to, you know, it's not going to happen. Um, as much as I like to think it'll happen, you know, I enjoy the sport. I'm not getting hurt. It's the main thing. But as you get older and wiser, the you're boxing. Right, you're only 23, Jack. Only 23, <laughs> but still, I haven't said that. The boxing starting to hurt a little bit more. Starting to get a bit more tired. I now have a family. So, and I do like the barbering, you know, I really, really do like it. I mean, I like making people feel good about themselves, you know. They sort of, you know, if you ever see them out about, they sort of like, they appreciate you, should I say, for for, for, for making them feel good. Um, so, it's a hard one, because I get a buzz from the ring, but then I get a buzz from seeing you walking down the street looking smart. But... If I had to pick one, which I'm sure you're going to make me pick one, <laughs> at the moment... Oh shit. Um, probably... The Boxer. Yeah. Boxer just edges it for the minute. Edges it for the minute. As you get older, be the barber, I can imagine. <laughs>